Welcome back to the Power of Public YouTube channel. Today we're going to be showing you how to do an exhaust upgrade for 2018 to the iArmy X30 engine. Okay, you can see here we've got this new pipe. It's going to delete the old uh, header pipe flex and muffler. So this is all one piece now. Uh, it's also got the, the little socket here, uh, which is, you can see it's, it's tapered. So that locks into the exhaust so you don't get any leakage. Uh, this one here is a restricted here for in, in Australia. We run a restricted category for newcomers and just dulls the power down a little bit, makes them a bit easier to drive. Uh, it's obviously directional here. Are the the gas not the gas the gaskets aren't they? They're the same gasket, but there's a little spacer here, and it's got the same cutout as on the, the back of this exhaust socket. We've got a couple of new nuts. Also, too, the, there's a longer stud that we've got to put into the engine just to accommodate for the restricted category. Some new exhaust springs. All right, first up, we're going to just remove these, uh, loosen those nuts off. This is the old, the old nuts. Remove the springs. So then just remove the old exhaust pipe and the old restrictor plate. Now we're going to remove the uh, old studs and insert the new ones. So the easiest way when you're at home to get these off or at the track is just to get two standard M8 nuts with no nylock and screw them onto the stud and then two 13mm ring spanners. Hold one on there, lock one, lock the two nuts together like so and then you should just be able to extract that stud. And then to make it easier, if I get myself a 13mm ratchet, like little cutie pie here, we'll just uh, stick him on there and that should be able to get that out. Ta-da! Okay, now it's the same for the other side. So now that you've got the start out, just to get the nuts off, just put the two spanners together like that and you can scissor action on the two spanners and that'll loosen the nuts off and you can just undo them straight off the, uh, the stud like so. So we've got the new studs here and you can see the difference in the length. Okay, that's just because the new restrictor plate needs a little bit extra thread here. I also recommend using a little bit of Loctite on your new stud and the installation is the reverse of the removal.
So next up, we're going to install the exhaust socket, which has got the restrictor built into it, and then this little uh, spacer plate. So, you want to make sure that these uh, are aligned. You know, you don't want to have them fracture bunt because you'll get the uh, the radiuses don't line up. So we're going to run the springs on the top for this engine, and we're going to put the gas, the spacer plate on first. Then we're going to put the uh, next gasket on, and then we're going to put the exhaust socket on. Done. Two of the new nuts. Righto, next up is this beautiful looking exhaust pipe. I'm going to just slip straight on, attach the springs and we're all done. So grab your pipe and just slip that over there. Just readjust the exhaust bracket to suit. So grab your fancy new springs and put them in the manifold like so. And then you grab your spring puller tool and just pull that guy on like so. The same for the other side. Last but not least, just attach your uh, springs back to your exhaust cradle, like so. So there you have it, the brand new exhaust pipe for the Miami X30. So there you have it, the X30 upgrade for 2018. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel or hit the like button and check us out on Instagram and Facebook at Power Republic or on the interweb at www.powerrepublic.com.au Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.